What's up guys, T1J here once again. Today we are going to do kind of a different kind of video. I want to talk about streaming and I want to talk about streaming with OBS in particular. Um, if you use a different program like XSplit, uh, uh, most of this will still apply, but um, I use OBS, so we're going to look at the settings of OBS. So I just want to talk about how to achieve the perfect balance of quality and performance when you're streaming. And this can also apply to just making videos, like uh, recording videos, not necessarily streaming, but just, you know, recording videos. Um, but it's a little bit different. Now, if you're just looking for, you know, specific settings that you just want to copy, um, this is in the video for you. And honestly, you really, really shouldn't look for that because everyone's setup is different. So you're really going to have to sort of test it out and try try different things over and over again until you find the perfect balance. You can't, you probably won't be able to get by just copying someone else's settings. So what I aim to do in this video is to give you a, give you the knowledge that you need in order to achieve your goal. And this is very basic and I'm not an expert. This is just for my own testing over time. And trust me, I've, I've gone through many trials and tribulations trying to get this set up and you know there's probably still things I can improve on but I learned a lot uh, you know just over the past few months of you know messing around with OBS and other things so I'm gonna impart that knowledge upon you okay so the number one most important thing that affects the quality of your stream is your computer and more specifically your processor if you have a really old or really bad processor it's gonna be hard for you to achieve a good looking stream that's just part of the deal the second most important thing when it comes to the quality of your stream is your internet speed particularly your upload speed once again if you have bad internet it's gonna be really hard for you to achieve a high quality stream the third thing that affects the quality of your stream particularly if you using if you're streaming video games is your video card now this this is sort of uh, side thing it doesn't affect it as much as the first two things I mentioned but obviously you want to have a decent video card um, if you don't have a decent video card you're probably gonna have trouble playing the games to begin with um, you know even before you start streaming so that's something you want to want to get so we're gonna go through the settings of OBS and just sort of uh, learn how what what settings we need to use in different situations whether you have a good computer and bad internet or bad computer and good internet or bad computer and bad internet if you have really amazing internet and a really amazing computer you're probably not having trouble streaming so I'm not gonna talk about that alright so if you go to the encoding tab you notice you have different encoders you can choose uh, for a lot of people this x264 is the only one that's gonna be available to you if you have a NVIDIA video card, you may have NVIDIA NVE and C available. And if your um, computer allows uh, Quick Sync, you may have Quick Sync, Quick Sync available. All right. So first of all, if at all possible, you want to use X264. Uh, this uses your CPU to, you know, produce the stream. The other two use uses your graphics card. Now most most processors even older ones can get away with using x264 but if you have an absolute shit processor then you can use the other ones but these have significantly worse quality than x264 but we'll look into i have nvidia and vnc and we'll look into that a little bit later in the video okay so the first thing we're going to look at is bitrate now quite simply the higher your bitrate is the better your stream is going to look that's just how it goes However, there are some things you need to take into account. The number beside bitrate is basically how much of your upload bandwidth is being used. So obviously you don't want this number to be higher than your max upload speed. It's recommended that you set your max bitrate to about 80% of your max maximum upload speed. So for example, my upload speed, uh, my internet upload speed at my apartment is around five uh, megabytes so I could set my max bit rate to like 4,000 if you have slow internet you can't set the bit rate too high you're gonna have to set it lower if your upload speed is only 1,000 kilobytes then you're gonna have to set your max bit rate to something like 800 or something and your stream is gonna look crappy that's just how it is that's just the, na the name of the game you can't do anything about it until you are able to upgrade your internet if you do have good internet you want to put this number as high as you can without 
causing lag and without causing lag for your viewers. Now you, you have to take into account your viewers download speed because their download speed also affects this. Right now it says that the max bit rate is 5400. That's really high. And for some people that may cause their stream to lag. So you don't want to put it that high. I think Twitch recommends that you don't exceed 3500 and I would suggest not going above around 2200 unless you're partnered. If you're partnered on stream then you then uh, viewers can change you know, the quality settings. And if you're partnered, then I would say just ramp this up as high as your internet allows it. So on my on my streams, I set this to 2200. Everything else you can leave alone. You know, check UCBR, enable CBR padding, and leave the buffer size the same as the bitrate. All that will work out for you. You can you know do some research research yourself to see if you can figure out a more optimal way to do it. But you know it's not really needed. Okay, for audio encoding, it doesn't affect it quite as much. You can change the audio bit rate um, because you know any any extra bits or whatever will help you out. Um, you can put this lower. I I even I put it on 96 sometimes. It doesn't make the audio sound that much worse, and it, you know just gives you a little bit of extra breathing room in terms of bit rate. Uh, 128 is sort of considered a good standard. Uh, one, again, if you have amazing internet. Um, feel free to ramp it up to get the highest quality audio as possible. All right, another quick thing: um, if you're streaming, you can make the um, you can make it automatically save your stream to a file. Um, this doesn't put that much of of a strain on your computer, but that does make your computer have to do extra work, and it makes the program have to do extra work. So you can try disabling that um, to see if it helps. Uh, but you know you if you really want to save your stream to file and I, I recommend you do so if you want to make like VODs because Twitch's VOD service is kind of dumb that's just another idea all right here in the video tab the main thing we want to talk about is resolution downscale you want your base resolution to be the resolution of your monitor and resolution downscale in my opinion if you have a low-end CPU if you have a bad computer this helps the most this will give you um, this will reduce lag and without you know affecting your quality too much now once again if you have if you have an amazing computer if you have like a badass CPU I would say keep this at the you know base resolution if you can pull it off and do it if not you can go to 1280 by 720 which is also good but if you have a bad computer I would suggest downscaling it. and I, I would say even down to 852 by 480 that's what I use because my, my CPU is not very good so I use 852 by 480 and it honestly does not look bad at all I wouldn't go much lower than this good get it getting lower than this is when you start to see really bad quality issues but you know it's not gonna be crisp and HD like some other streams but it doesn't look bad and it really safe it really helps the CPU out so I would suggest doing that if you if you have a uh, low-end CPU or old CPU the last thing we're gonna look at is the advanced tab and particularly we're gonna use the we're gonna look at the CPU preset it's set to very fast if you try to change that this huge thing pops up it's like oh my god please don't do that um, but if you've done everything before and you're still seeing lag and things like that you can change this um, to ultra fast or super fast. What ultra fast and super fast basically puts less strain on your CPU, but it it pretty significantly affects the quality of your stream. So if you're still lagging, you're still having input delay, consider setting this to super fast or ultra fast. Um, your stream's gonna look a little crappier, but it'll at least not lag. So that's another thing to look to look into. If you have an amazing computer, like a super badass computer, once again, you can ramp this up. Um, I would say you can go to faster, faster, medium. Probably not slower, slower. Like you, if you have like a super like space age computer, you can try slower, slower to just get the maximum quality. But it's really not. It puts an it puts extra strain on your computer that for not that much of a quality gain. So try faster or fast if you have like a really good computer for a you know minimal quality uh, gain. That's just only if you want to ramp up the quality. But very fast should work for most people. Um, I actually use ultra fast because um, I probably don't need to use ultra fast. 
but I, I still I encounter lag issues sometimes when I'm streaming and I was just like I'm just gonna put it on the lowest setting and so that's what I use now if you remember before I uh, so there's different encoders that we can use and if we select Nvidia and VENC uh, you'll notice that the advanced tab uh, wait. you notice that the advanced tab changes um, now that NVENC has a bunch of different um, presets and I honestly don't know what they all do I know certain ones like lossless is this completely overrides your bitrate you do not want to stream with this uh, basically gives you the maximum bitrate and you probably only you probably don't even want to use this for recordings um, because it just uses the maximum amount of CPU power and you can still get like frame skipping and stuff like that um, but for maximum performance I would use high performance low latency um, um, but you could try high quality and see if you can still because that that'll improve the quality a little bit um, but I would I would use either high quality or high performance low latency uh, I don't I really don't know what the other ones do <laughs> so this is just basically the settings this is this is what you need to do All right I'll put an annotation at the beginning of the video for sort of a too long didn't watch so where this is just the basics this is basically all you need to know condensed into one little paragraph if you have a very good internet speed but a very bad processor uh, make sure you ramp the bit rate up as high as you can go about 80 percent of your uh, upload speed and then go to video and go to resolution downscale and downscale it as low as 852 by 480 if you want to that's what I do uh, that'll help a lot uh, also, you can go to advanced and change the CPU preset to ultra fast or super fast. Those are the things that you do if you have a bad computer. If you have a really good computer but bad internet, then make sure you lower your bitrate. Um, just keep turning the bitrate down. It's gonna your quality, the quality of your stream is gonna go down. But that's just you know that's the name of the game. You can try like 1600 or 1000. Um, but you know to make up for that make sure you um, use a high resolution downscale 720 no lower than that if uh, you've got a good computer and don't change the CPU, pre CPU preset you could even put it to faster if you have a really good computer and another thing you can try if you have a a slow computer is to change the encoder if that option is available to you you can try Nvidia and VENC it puts much less strain on your CPU but it takes your the quality of your stream takes a hit as well so and then from there on you can do more research and you can try different things but that's the basics this is this is how you balance quality and performance and you just need to try different things out and make sure you know you could just go in there and you know set everything as low as possible and then slowly tick things upward until you get the highest quality you can get while still you know being lagless and having high performance and keep in mind if you use a, a capture card like Elgato that's gonna be a whole different set of things and maybe I'll make a video about that and I, honestly I'm still figuring that out myself but OBS and Elgato kinda don't like to work together sometimes you get like audio drops and stuff but that's a problem with Elgato and not really OBS settings and I think Elgato is both the developers of Elgato and the developers of OBS are working together to update their drivers and things and make it work better. But even with Elgato, all of this stuff will work um, if, if you're if you're dealing with quality issues or with um, lag issues during stream. Um, you can try all the things I've mentioned in this video. If you're dealing with like Elgato specific things like audio desync and and things like that, I'll have to do a little more research that on that and you know give you give you another video later anyway if there are any like specific questions i can try to answer them below and keep in mind i'm not an expert this is just for my own research and trials um so thanks for watching my video i'll see you next time bye